Okay, sorry about that. Um, I kind of ran out of room in my little rant there, but I'm just going to finish this off real quick. Uh, the special effects and the new Star Wars movies, yeah. Um, I think the biggest mistake that he made about it, of course, is that he went to all digital and that he abandoned all analog. And this is just moronic in all sense of the word. And Hollywood as a whole, so I mean, like, it's not really completely his fault, but Hollywood as a whole has completely abandoned uh, all analog special effects methods. They don't use puppetry anymore at all. They don't use uh, like any kind of actual manual film processing at all when they can go to digital. And uh, you know, look at movies like Aliens and Predator and Predator. Those movies were made in like mid eighties and they look gorgeous compared to today's standards. And uh, you know what? Look at the very first movie that ever used three D effects to uh, try to go ahead and um, resemble real life objects and that would be Jurassic Park. And that movie, to date, has some of the best 3D special effects ever in a movie. Easily. Hands down. You know? I'm not saying that they were the first movie to have 3D effects. Of course, there was Tron and movies like that before. I'm saying they're the first movie that tried to pass off a 3D image as a real-life thing. And they did it great. They did it perfectly. Of course, Steven Spielberg is a god, and that's about all there is to it. But, uh, yeah... The, uh, the, the movie, though, that just made poor decision after poor decision, and because that, and they were going for too much quantity and not enough quality, is the other thing, is that every single scene was just littered with, like, special effects, and he decided somewhere along the line that everything needed a special effect, and that was just, that's a huge mistake, and for one thing, it doesn't hold the same style as the first movies, you know, and, uh, like, one huge difference is that because they used models in the first movies, that they were allowed to put all these details in, like, the ships and all that, and that's what made it look so realistic. And now in these, like, uh, newer movies, they, uh, all the ships, like, it's supposed to be later technology, but they look more advanced, you know? They're all polished and streamlined and all that stuff and look like something that you would get out of a car dealership these days. But, uh, aside from the style, though, I, I, I remember one time I was drinking over at a friend's house, and, uh, we were flipping through channels, and I went, oh, look, a Pixar film, well, let's watch that. And we started watching it, and I think we watched it for about two minutes, full minutes, before we realized that it was actually one of the new Star Wars movies. So, yeah, that can give you some kind of indication about how I really feel. And, um, you know, one of the testimonies that I can, like, point out about why this is bad to, like, uh, put so much content in there and that not choose quality over quantity is... An, Maybe some of you will be like, well, this is just nitpicking, but some of you might get what I'm trying to say here, and that's that Yoda doesn't have ear holes. I swear to God, whenever Yoda's on camera, like uh, the little 3D animated Yoda, watch him when he turns and pause it just at the right moment, you can look inside of his ear. There's no ear hole. It's just the shape of an ear. And that goes to show like how lack of detail they have put in this movie, and that this is like one of the most major, major, major special effects in the movie. The most important thing that they have, right? And it, Yoda doesn't even have proper ear holes. How ridiculous is this? So, yeah, I, I think the new Star Wars movies, of course, have some of the worst special effects ever in Hollywood. And uh, they just fell into the formula of have money will throw and <laughs> it doesn't work that way they don't understand that uh, <laughs> look at Pan's Labyrinth like uh, Del Toro oh man Del Toro that's that's someone that every single person in Hollywood like if anybody wants to make a big budget movie they need to look at two people two people they need to look at Del Toro and they need to look at Steven Spielberg and they need to try to emulate them if they're gonna do anything and just get out of this whole make everything 3d but I wouldn't expect so much from George Lucas. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't expect anything at all from that man. But, uh, yeah, I kind of lost my piss and steam in between these videos, so I guess that's about it for now. Um, please, once again, leave comments. I'm glad to go ahead and answer anything you have to say or ask or whatever. And uh, have a good one.